Welcome to another episode of In Range. This is, of course, the Desert Tech MDR Bullpup rifle. Now, over the years of getting the opportunity to work with this rifle with Desert Tech, I can without a doubt state that Desert Tech is the gold star example of a responsible company that has improved upon their product upon going into production. And this is now absolutely the best bullpup on the market. This one in 5.56 has actually been literally 100% reliable and is ergonomic and is fantastic. Um, I, this has converted me over to the idea of bullpups to a certain degree. I've always been a little bit negative on the concept of bullpups here on InRange, but if you're going to get a bullpup, the Desert Tech MDR or MDRX is the one to get. I happen to prefer it in 5.56. Now, one of the things about bullpups is they tend to be a little back heavy and so one of the things I've said on the channel over time if you've seen the videos is that I preferred adding a little weight to the front of the MDR to balance it out and one of the ways to do that was to add barrel length another way to do that is to add a suppressor which you see here this is the PBS1 Wolverine from uh, Dead Air Silencers another way would be to add mass to the handguard and so at that time in range had had some experience with black label bipods which make an aluminum integrated bipod for the AR-15 uh, weapon system and it's a fantastic bipod it really is amazing it's there when you need it not there when you don't um, easy to deploy very sturdy a superb product across the board and I realized that my goodness if there was any weapon on the market that would be best served by a black label bipod it would be the MDR or MDRX so SHOT Show 2020 rolled around and I had the really neat opportunity to bring together both companies I emailed Dalton from Black Label and Nick from Desert Tech and we had to get together at SHOT Show and discuss the idea of a black label bipod for the MDR. And they both agreed that seemed to make a lot of sense and went off to start doing a collaboration. And I didn't hear much more about it after that except that there was something being done and I couldn't say anything about it because it was of course, you know, a secret at the time. And then not too long ago I get an email from Dalton saying, we've done it. We've got the prototype black label bipod for the MDR or MDRX, and we want you to be one of the first ones to get the opportunity to try it out. And that's what's here on this rifle. This is the prototype version of the black label bipod for the Desert Tech MDR. And so, as you can see, very easy to deploy, adds a little mass to the front, but what's the first thing that I do on in-range to find out if something is working out well? We take it to a match. This so. is the target presentation from the shooter's perspective, right in the edge of the shadow. Hit! Hit! <clears throat> Hit! 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 <clears throat> Hit! 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 <clears throat> Hit! Hit! <clears throat> So at two gun we do nothing to improve target visibility. The targets stay unpainted and if they're in the shadow, so be it. And as you can see the dust environment here is significant. Now the suppressor helped with the dust signature a little bit, but truly the spinner target was nearly invisible. And being able to ascertain if it was spinning away from me or towards me 
was very challenging. And I can say with absolute certainty that the only reason I was able to spin this successfully was because I had the black label bipod. The stability provided by the bipod allowed me to stay on the target and keep as much visibility as I could and ultimately allowed me to succeed where most of the other shooters on the squad did not. Over! So on this stage, the shooter begins with one magazine of five in their hand and two other magazines of five across the bay. There are five mini IPSC targets at 50 meters, and every shot counts. If you miss, it's a penalty, and you can't make them up. After you fire your five rounds, you have to crawl under this tunnel, not knock over any sticks, retrieve one of the five-round magazines, come back, and repeat. And you do this three times. Uh, it becomes more stressful as you continue to shoot, and once again, the bipod provided the ability to be more confident in each shot because at brutality matches, such as the ones that you're seeing here, penalties are significant. Every miss would have been 30 seconds added to one score. So let's go through the installation. Now obviously you would not have a prototype black label bipod a handguard on your MDR MDRX. So just pretend this is the polymer handguard. And I've already removed the suppressor, which you probably wouldn't need to do either. You pull those two screws, well actually you just loosen these two screws. I pull them out entirely. And you punch the pin, which just makes it easier on camera here. And once you've done that, this just comes right off. Just like super easy. And you take the production black label bipod out of the box, loosen the two tensioning screws, and slide it over. Like that. It's a tight fit for this pin. You have to punch it down a little bit. Which is good. That means that this will actually retain zero because of that nice tight fit. And then tighten these two screws down. That is literally it. You now have a black label bipod handguard for your MDR MDRX. So some things that you'll find on the production version, there are flutes on the bipod legs for aesthetics. The lip is nice and a little bit larger than it was on the prototype, making it easier to deploy. And the tension screw for tilt now has detents, which is great. So to deploy the bipod, just flip them down, make the legs the length you need them to be, good to go. When you want to put it back, close the legs, Push in the locking lever and just close it. That's it. A constantly available bipod when you need it, but not when you don't. Another fantastic product from Black Label. And even better on the MDR. So as you saw from that footage, the Black Label bipod on the MDR was a match winning solution. It would be a fantastic solution for many other things as well. Tactical applications, of course well as for hunting, and you could use this same handguard regardless of this is 5.56, 5 6.5 Creedmoor, 308, whatever your MDR or MDRX is. Um, uh, the benefits and attributes and wonderful things that we found the black label bipod to be on the AR-15 are only better on the MDR. As you saw, it mounts quite tightly. It's very rigid. A lot better than the polymer handguard in that regard. If you were to mount a light or laser on this, specifically laser, something that needs to retain a zero, you could now do so. I would not have trusted the polymer handguard for that. The bipod's extremely stable, very rigid. It adds a little weight to the front end of the MDR, which makes it a more balanced gun, which is actually a benefit, not a detriment. Sometimes more weight's better when you want to deal with balance. It's not always just about weight reduction, but it's about balance as well. And so, I'm just excited to be able to bring this to you, and I'm happy to have had just the tiniest part of this collaboration in bringing these guys together at SHOT Show 2020, and now seeing the culmination of their genius minds, not only a genius uh, firearm, but a genius bipod and handguard brought together into a fantastic platform. If you're on the fence about an MDR, MDRX, I'm gonna go ahead and say this. This product should change your mind. Once you put this on here, this becomes an incredible system, and uh, 
it really is quite amazing. So these are now available right now from Desert Tech and Black Label. So if you're interested in adding a Black Label bipod to your MDR MDRX, you can go pick that up today. Now, obviously the prototype, and this was sent to me courtesy of Black Label Bipod. I did not buy these. I didn't even know they were gonna send me one, but I did know there was a collaboration afoot mostly because of thanks of helping bring things together, at least to a small degree, and I'm very appreciative of that. I am uh, very uh, impressed by both of these company companies, Black Label and Desert Tech, are, as I said earlier, gold star standards in this industry, and they both make an incredible product. So uh, if you're interested, look into it. If you haven't got an MDR MDRX yet and you want a bullpup, this is the bullpup to get absolutely get it with this bipod you need the bipod it makes it incredible if you already have one get the bipod i'm telling you don't hesitate it's amazing i just want to thank everyone out in the audience for watching this and uh, i want to remind you that in range is truly a patreon supported only project no advertisers no overlords i take no money from black label or from desert tech these are my honest opinions and based on my performance as you saw at the match amongst other things so it's you the viewer that make that possible and thank you um, also, InRange is not just on YouTube. We're all over the place. You can find this, all of our just different, different distribution points at inrange.tv slash watch. But more importantly, the algorithm is not our friend. Please subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you very much.